Okay, in this first video, we're going to talk about um, the whole idea of systems of equations. Just going to give a brief uh, introduction to this. So make sure you've got your paper ready. I want you to be taking lots of notes on this. Uh, these uh, concepts that we're going to talk about in this brief introduction are going to be very important for understanding everything that we're doing from here on out for the next couple of weeks. But more specifically, pretty much what you're going to be doing from here on out throughout your math life um, in terms of systems of equations and primarily solutions. So I want us to just go ahead and start looking at this idea of solutions. Um, there's a few key concepts that I want to hammer home and make sure that you've got a grasp of. And one of those is this whole idea of a solution. We always talk about in math finding the solution to our equation or finding the solution to a problem and of course that word solution has many different meanings depending upon the context but for right now here in algebra or here in math in general solution really only has um, one meaning and that's this a solution is any value which makes an algebraic sentence true now let's talk about what the heck that means let's take this equation x plus 8 equals 22. Real simple equation. You could solve that without any problem. And if you solve it, you'd get x equals 14. Now the reason that this is the solution is when I take 14 right here and I put it back into my equation for x, 14 plus 8 is 22. That's a true statement. So that's why x equals 14 is the solution. It makes this a true sentence. Okay. Now let's talk about the whole idea of graphing and lines. We've spent a while taking equations of two variables like 3x plus 9y equals 14 and graphing that. And just kind of want to remind you of before you learned all this stuff about slope intercept form and all this other kind of stuff you would have made an XY chart and you would have put a bunch of numbers in for X like negative 1, 0, 1, maybe 2, worked out the problem, gotten the Y coordinate and you would have plotted these points and then connected those points and made a line and said okay here's how you graph it. Well that line is really a graphical representation of all the possibilities of solutions. So when we talk about a point being a solution for a line, here's what we mean. We mean that the coordinates of a point represent the ordered pair that you would get when you put the x value into the equation and get a corresponding y value. Here's a couple of examples. Let's take this equation. 2x plus 3y equals 5. And I've got out here three possible solutions. Bam, bam, bam. And if I want to see, and, and I'll go ahead and tell you, all three of these represent solutions to this equation. These are all points we would get. And just to show you, here's the math. Okay, if I take the first one, the coordinate pair, the ordered pair rather, 1, 1. I put in 1 for my x one for my y and work it out. Two times one is two plus three times one which is three. Two plus three equals five. Check. That's what I should get. That, so that means that this is a solution to my line. Well, what about this one? 2.5 zero. Same thing. I'm going to put my 2.5 in for x. I'm going to put my zero in for y and work it out. Two times 2.5 that's 5. 3 times 0, 0. 5 plus 0 equals 5. Check. That is a solution to my problem, to this equation. Now what about this one though? Negative 1, 7 thirds. Don't let the fraction part scare you. Let's see what happens. I put in my negative 1 for my x, put in my 7 thirds for my y. 2 times negative 1, that's negative 2. 3 times 7 thirds, okay? 21 over 3 is 7. So negative 2 plus 7 equals 5. Check. That is a solution. Now, 
you may be wondering, think about this, but before when we had like the x plus 14 equals, excuse me, x plus 8 equals 22, that only had one solution. And the reason that only had one solution was because we were dealing with one variable. Now we're talking about two variables that can come in all sorts of different pairs to make it work. And we've got multiple ones of these. So if we're just talking about one equation with two variables and we graph it, we get a line. The reason we get that line is because all of these points on that line are possibilities of things that make it true. Okay? Now, let's extend that and let's talk about how a point is a solution for systems of equations. Well, a system of equations is basically more than one equation. And the solution is the point you will find on every line in the system. Now, that may not make a lot of sense to you right now. Um, oh, shoot. So let me go back here. Hit the wrong key. And I'm not going to go through any examples with this introduction because when we get to the further lessons, that's going to make sense. But I just kind of want to introduce this idea to you right now. When we start talking about a systems of equations, we're going to get one solution to a system, and that is going to be a single point. And I know that seems kind of confusing right now, but it'll make more sense when we get into the actual methods and solving it. Okay, I just want to save that explanation for then. So let's talk about the ways that we're going to solve these systems of equations. We can solve a system of equations by graphing. We can solve it by substitution. We can solve it by elimination. And that's also sometimes called adding and subtracting method, depending upon the algebra book that you have and whatnot. But I prefer to call it the elimination method because you end up eliminating stuff. And we'll talk more about that when we get to that portion. There's two other ways that you can solve a systems of equations using something called a matrix. And you have something called augmented matrices and determinants of matrices. Um, and we may or may not get into that. Uh, but the three that we're going to focus on uh, is graphing, substitution, and elimination in this series. Okay, So hopefully you got all these notes. If not, go back and... Um, Make sure you got everything written down and then look at our next video uh, where we're talking about graphing.